Now we're going to jump into some uh, Heritage Duroc from the Myers Company. Pork coming out of the Midwest. Very tasty pork. Clean. Heavy marbling. Very tender, very juicy. Best pork I've tasted in a long time. Back to the garlics, the brown sugars, onion salts, ground mustard. That's what makes pork very tasty. You want to be careful when you're using brown sugar because it'll catch fire, it'll give you a, it'll char. It won't damage the meat, but you'll get a char look to it. Now you're going to make a, a tamp with foil paper to start off. You want the doll side in. Put your ribs in. Going to close it up just a little bit. You want the air to circulate with its own steam. That's what's going to tenderize it and make it fully cooked through the ribs. Okay, so now that we've got it tied up in its tent, let's place it on the top rack. So it works kind of like an oven, heat generated all around the package. Now for the baby back ribs. Same thing. Place your ribs in the foil. Give it a little bit of a of a tamp. I'm going to set this on the other side. Okay, so now it's time to check our ribs. Take a look at how they're coming out. So here we go. I tell you, this Myers pork is just beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. St. Louis rib, again, is coming from a spare rib where they cut the brisket bone off to make a a replica of the baby back rib, a meatier baby back rib. So now that we did the foil, let's let's sear that on the other side. Put this here. We'll brown it a little. Now let's go to the baby back rib, and you'll see the difference with the similar look of them. See the baby back rib? The baby back ribs come off the loin closest to the spine which is very tender. Tender are the St. Louis cut to look and resemble a baby back rib with media. Look at that how it browned up super nice. Brown this one up. The membranes are removed on both ribs for easier and less chew on your rib. And there you go. Heritage Duroc pork ribs.